Hello and welcome to my channel Spark Stenographer. Today I am going to deliver you a shortened dictation from Kailash Chandra magazine volume number 12 and the transcription number 254. So guys ready for the dictation 10 second. 5 second start before I proceed to offer a few observations on the budget I would like to deal with a primary point a few days before the presentation of the budget we were led to believe that with the budget papers would be circulated reports from the different ministries giving the silent feature of the administration of each ministry during the current year. These papers, I am sorry to say, have not reached the members of the house and I am bringing up this point in the hope that before we give notice to cut motions, at any rate, these papers will reach us. In the course of the speeches, which have already been made there has been reference to one striking point in the budget speech and that is the striking variation between the original budget estimates presented last year and the revised estimates contained in the budget presentation now. Pandit Kunjru somewhat briefly and Professor Shah more elaborately dealt with this point. If I refer to it, it is only to remind the Honorable the Finance Minister of a promise which was tentatively made by his predecessor last year and this to set up with as little delay as possible a research and planning section in the finance ministry that is i think of the utmost importance i know that the challenger of the exchequer in england is willing and indeed would be glad to provide facilities for training three or four promising young young men from the finance ministry in this country and I hope that Sir Stafford Cripps offer will be accepted by the finance minister promptly and gratefully. I am referring to this variation between the original estimates and the revised estimates for another reason and that is to indicate that there is nothing scronocent about the forecast for the coming year contained in the budget especially because my honorable friend has made no allowance at all for economies as a result of the working of the economic committee nor for reduced expenditure under the heading defense so far as the work of the economic committee is concerned. I think the proper costume which the finance minister should have worn is not a launch suit. If he had been candid to this house, he should have some forward and told us that this committee has been a complete flop. Last year his predecessor made a token out. Pandit Kujro tomb took him to ask for unduly underrating the possibilities implicit in the work of the economic committee. This year, profiting perhaps by the experience of his predecessor, Dr. Mehtai, has been discreetly silent on that point. I am referring to this matter because I think it is high time that he did something positive about it. I would suggest for his serious consideration that the various interim 
reports of the economic committee referring to the several ministries should be submitted to the respective standing committee of the legislature and a prompt decision taken after the house has risen for the budget session if necessary let these standing committees sit day to day until the task has been completed on the subject of defense expenditure i would remind dr mehtai of the promise also made by his predecessor that as soon as normal conditions developed with the keys fire in kashmir he would have the defense expenditure scrutinized possibly by a separate committee and i would like dr mehtai to consider whether the defense estimates could now be submitted to a sub committee of the standing finance commission committee i think that would be a very useful practice and would lead to the development of a full fledged estimates committee of this house i am lying stress on this point because while previous speakers have spoken on it only from the standpoint of economy i am looking at it from the standpoint of the work that is being done in the secretariat anyone who goes round the different ministries at the present moment would be struck with one fact that is the steady and serious deterioration both in the quality and the quantity of work done in the secretariat there are many reasons for this but i think the situation is much more serious than the house has released i know that several officers senior officers of ability experience and integrity are only looking forward to the time when they can retire from the government of india i am afraid it is true that there has been a tendency on the part of more than one ministry to set at not the established practice in regard to recruitment and promotion of people in the secretariat men who have been thrown out for proved miss dementor by the findings of the public service commission have been brought back and given responsible positions the effect of all this is devastating on the moral of thousands of people who are working in the secretariat this is an aspect of the problem which the member of the cabinet would do well to ponder over stop